Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to explain you how can you clear the client round. So basically you can clear the companies, okay, directly, which is opting for going, uh, for allowing you to uh, give interviews for client rounds. So basically the first one or two rounds which company takes is pretty much simple okay to crack it so let's suppose i'm taking examples of lot of service based company like nagaro is there like uh, genpact is there like capgemini is there wipro is there tcs is there these all are service based companies right so clearing the first few rounds which is taken by the company is pretty much simple but when you have to clear the client rounds when they are giving your resume to the clients and then clients take uh, your interview separately at that point of time it creates a difference okay why because if you give client rounds you will get to know that their expectation is quite different okay so they will ask you much in-depth questions so the expectation which company takes from you while giving your inter while taking your interview at that point of time uh, you will be able to feel very comfortable answering that but when client takes interview they will not ask much of a wide variety of questions but they will ask few topics but they will go in depth into that so let's take an example like if i am considering hash map okay so client can ask you what's the internal implementation of hash map how hash map put and get method works internally how is hashing functionality works okay what actually whenever we are giving the keys and whenever hashing works then what is actually happening within that because of which only uh, the uh, value which is coming the index value which lies between 0 to 15 how it gets calculated okay then uh, how hash set works internally okay so you know that hash set internally makes use of hash map so if you are making use of employee object or student object and we are adding it into the hash set then uh, that particular any class can be opted as a key or not if not then what changes we have to do so these type of question they can ask you in depth okay and they can ask a lot of follow-up questions on hash map like if we are having multiple keys with the same hash code and equals method is returning me true always okay and hash code is returning me one always then what will happen in that scenario so they will go very in depth into the topic which that particular interviewer is asking you so this was one of the example which the client ask you and you should have a thorough knowledge on it if you have overview of it then you will not be able to clear that client round okay and they ask very much uh, important questions on streams basically like if they will tell you like we have to group certain set of employee objects and then we have to find the maximum marks or maximum salaried employee object those things we have to return okay then uh, they can ask you to group the employees and we have to fetch the employees with maximum marks with employees with maximum age with maximum salary then we have to make use of comparator interface and then we have to sort based upon multiple classes then these type of question they are asking a lot okay so collection you should be very much clear on that okay then they can ask about executor framework as well they can ask you in depth like what problem completable future solve which future was having why it came in java 8 okay what new new feature came in java 17 java 11 so this type of question they are asking okay and then uh, what you have implemented in your project any new features of java 17 you have implemented in your project so then they can ask you about solid design principles they will not just ask what are solid design principles they can ask you like what are in-depth analysis through code you have to explain like Liskov substitution principle this they can ask you 90 percent of the time they can tell you to implement Liskov substitution principle give example of that okay so these type of questions are very commonly asked okay so before going for giving any client rounds you should have hands-on experience in few things like authentication authorization how have you implemented jwt oauth okay these things then uh, you should be knowing the from code perspective how you have implemented okay you can create one or two minor projects for that then uh, they can ask you with respect to hibernate mappings like jpa mappings are there like one to one one to many many to one many to many then they can ask you questions based upon that like uh, uh, how can you uh, make it cascaded type how can you make the particular field value uh, eager type or lazy type okay those type of question they can ask you within that like they will ask you to implement also and uh, while you are implementing they will ask questions also what you are doing based upon that so these things are they are most they will be focusing most upon coding part then uh, they can tell you like uh, you have to implement uh, you have to sort the hash map based upon 
key and key will be any employer student object but you, you should not make use of any streams okay without using streams you have to implement and with using streams you have to implement okay so both way they can ask you so, so you should be knowing it and uh, data structure should be very much clear upon that like hash set hash map collection framework is there that is a thing and then along with that arrays binary search okay binary search questions are very frequently asked in companies like walmart okay so you should be very much clear on that not only normal binary search like uh, you have to do binary search on sorted rotated array so it, it, that particular array totally will not be sorted but first half will be sorted second half will be sorted but in, no, in not in normal order okay so i'm giving an example like uh, one two three four five six it's like a normal array which is sorted but if i tell you four five six uh, one two three here what is happening the total array is not sorted but left part and right part is uh, equally sorted okay so there is a partition between the two and then they will tell you like we have to find the particular key the target value within this entire array how will you do that so it's like a sorted rotated array and you have to search from that so this type of question uh, they can ask you so you should be well prepared on that then there's you should be knowing about the different data structures on arrays like uh, prefix sum approach cadence algorithm to find the sub array sum okay all the sub arrays in a particular array so these type of questions they can ask you so you should be prepared on that then two pointer approach two sum and three sum questions these are very much important okay so hash map based questions okay you if you be we'll be knowing that topological sorting can also be solved with the help of hash map so you can understand like hash map is very much important okay then dynamic programming basics of dynamic programming you should be knowing on that and uh, recursion so with the help of recursion you can solve like big big problems in just two or four lines maximum okay so recursion helps a lot in that so you can solve basic problem first like factorial uh, solving factorial solving fibonacci series you can solve it with the help of recursion then how can you print numbers from 1 to 10 without using for loop they can ask you questions on that so you have to make use of recursion or you can make use of in stream dot range or range closed okay these two methods you can use so these type of question they will be pretty, pretty much covering then difference based question like when you should go for array list when you should go for linked list okay this type of question can be asked then array versus array list okay then uh, they will be like uh, when we have sorted the key part of the hash map then uh, while putting it up in the new map then how will you store the data like you know right you have to sort the hash map based upon the keys and then after sorting you need to store it right so you need to store in the linked hash map so that insertion order is preserved okay uh, so that is the thing we have to implement then design patterns based question they will ask you a lot like singleton design pattern factory design pattern creational design pattern is fine but they can ask you have you implemented any behavioral or structural design patterns like facade design pattern you should be well versed with gang of four design patterns okay then uh, there will be like template design patterns okay strategy design patterns so these things are very much important single this uh, creational design pattern is very important they will ask you to implement a break free singleton design pattern singleton design pattern is very important tons of questions can be prepared from just one single design pattern singleton design pattern okay then factory and then builder these three singleton factory abstract factory and builder these four should be in your tips so that uh, this is the starting point of the question then they can ask you like if you know about behavioral or structural design pattern so two two design pattern you should be knowing from behavioral as well as structural so that you can explain it to them they will not tell you to code it but they can uh, ask for the explanation part so that you should be very much clear on that so this is pretty much the thing upon java i have covered like coding part i have covered uh, the theoretical part like collection uh, multi-threading java 8 java 17 features serialization deserialization core concepts so uh, difference based question like which one will you choose then log based question synchronized and log differences okay then um, yeah solid design principles 
then it will go, then it after asking these questions then they will go for spring boot and microservice microservice also there are certain set of design patterns right so there there also they can ask you question like what design patterns have you implemented in microservice okay so that you should be very much well, well versed with like saga design pattern choreography orchestration circuit breaker design pattern what is load balancer okay then rest apis how have you implemented your rest apis so differences between annotations those type of questions they can ask you okay so that application dot properties and why yml file what's the difference between the two then beans based question they can ask you like if i'm injecting singleton within prototype or we are injecting prototype bean within singleton then what will happen this type of question they can ask you then is single is spring is proto is spring is uh, singleton by default right so if i'm creating multiple instances of the beans okay we are creating multiple beans then we are calling it again and again it, then what will happen if bean is of singleton and, and if bean is of prototype this type of question they can ask you the client around i am telling you so you should be well versed with with the in depth knowledge and concepts on that okay so this is the overall thing so if you are fine with the in depth knowledge of the 80% of the topic which client generally ask then you are good to go you don't have to worry about the rest thing so i hope you got a clarity like what all things you need to prepare for the client round okay so client round just go as it is you have should be preparing well versed with respect to coding they will spend 70 to 80% of the time focusing upon your coding skills only 20 30% of the time they will be asking you on theory part and the concept part so concept is everywhere required in coding also you need to know concepts and in uh, theory also you need to know concept concept should be clear but 70 to 80% of the time they will be seeing your coding skills the client round mainly i'm telling about so i hope you got the clarity on it so we'll see you in the next video with next set of concepts till then please like share and subscribe my video i will see you in the next video till then it's tipsy try signing off bye bye